Howdy, howdy, howdy. How's it all going, guys? Deeks here again with another All About Truvis number 21. Still doing it and still going strong. Thank you to your my 19 subscribers. I love you all. Uh, I would love to get it to 20. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It'll make me feel better. I need your reassurance if that's okay. Anyway, stop talking bollocks. Uh, so I've got eight balls for you today. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about buying them uh, and a little bit of a warning. And I'll, I'll go through the warning as we progress. So without further ado, let's start with um, Northcliffe Golf Club. This is Northcliffe. Big thank you to Martin for sorting this one out for me. Um, Martin was relentless in his pursuit of the UK balls and he managed to finally get hold of someone from Northcliffe. And this is their centenary ball from 2021, which is the number on the ball as well. And that's a green pent. And again, in his fine form, he also secured some Boat of Garten Truvis, and that is a white font on a blue background. Uh, this is a club in Scotland. Um, oh, I didn't say Northcliffe is actually, I think it's in West Yorkshire, which isn't too far away from where I am here in York. Boat of Garden is right in the middle of the Highlands. Um, and it is a ball that I've not seen before. Um, I've seen them in people's collections, but I've certainly never seen them for sale. So it was really kind of mine to help sort me out with these. So thank you. Uh, the next four are from John at Affordable Golf. Check them out on eBay. Uh, John was really nice and put together a small bundle for me. And uh, I went through and picked his, uh, the ones that I like most. I must admit, I have recently picked some more out of his, but I am, let's just say I'm running credit rather hot with people. Uh, Patrick, you're one of them. Scott, you're another one. Uh, Jed, I've got, I've got one from you as well. So I really apologise those that are waiting for money from me. Um, but once I have paid off those lines, uh, I may be approaching John with four more, but really pleased with the four that I've got. First one is quite a common one. We've got the Vegas ball in gold and black. Uh, those that know Truvis well will know that they also come in a blue and red version. Um, the gold and black one is the newer one as far as I'm aware. Uh, but as far as I'm aware, they're both retail. I don't know if they just retail in all of the golf clubs in Las Vegas or just in Vegas or in general, but they're quite common. Um, I would put them in the same level as common as um, Wolf Creek. We see a lot of those. Uh, we're seeing a lot of Bray, uh, Bray Bear or something. We're seeing a lot of those at the moment as well. But this is a very common one, but it was really nice to get a hold of the gold one. Um, as you can see, the Las Vegas, uh, welcome to Las Vegas sign. I don't know. Look at that. Got my new lighting working. I hope you appreciate it all. The fourth one is one that I'm going to name wrong because I keep calling it Indian Creek, but it's not. It's Indian Ridge. Nice. Happy with the, the zoom on that. It's got the number 1994. Now, it is a brown background, which is really rare. At first, you think, oh, it's just one of the gold ones with all the, the sparkly, bar, sparkly bits off. But it's actually kind of like a stone pebble background, which makes it really novel and really different. And uh, I really like it. Um, it's definitely going to stand out in the collection because there are no, well, there are not many uh, that share the same colour. Uh, next one is uh, Raken or Raken. It is a builder's helmet on an orange background. Now, I was talking to someone relatively recently. I can't remember who it was on social media, but they said that there are not enough orange balls out there. And I completely agree. There are not many orange ones at all. I mean, I go to think of one of my favourites, which is this one, which is the, the Mililani. And then you've also got the Wakaley, Wakaley, which is this one here, which is another orange. Um, but there aren't many orange in the pence. One of my favourite ones is the uh, Tennessee TriStar. I love that ball. And this one's going to go right next to it. The Builder's Helmet, really simple with Rakan or Rakan. Um, the last one of the new ones 
uh, well, newish, is this one, which is Jackson Kelly, which is 1822, and it has got black and like a turquoise blue don't see this color coordination too often and i love it i think it stands out really nice the blue and the black makes it pop out um it's just a really really nice ball and there's something about that color blue which just stands out i don't know whether it's because I, I was a magpie in a previous life or no idea but it is a really nice ball cheers So what I wanted to do for you is I've just received two balls this morning that I bought on eBay from a new seller um, that I've not seen before on eBay. His name's Stuart and he runs Stuart got a Pro Shop. And I made, I made a lapse in judgment and I knew I was doing it all the way through. But nonetheless, I still feel a bit silly. Now, Stuart took photos of the golf ball he said that he was raising uh money for mental health and golf but he was still sound he still combined the postage but i should have asked for more pictures on the balls now the balls that i've received uh the first one is um it's unidentified but i'm sure it's identified but i have a 10 minute gap before the wife and the daughter get in so i wanted to do all about Druvis before they came in and there's lots of noise in the house so i've, I've not looked but it, it's really quite simple it is a lighthouse on a white and black really nice really bright red now the pictures there was one of the rear and then there was one if i recall of the top and you know I should have asked for pictures of all four sides and I kind of knew that when I was going into this it wasn't going to be mint and unfortunately I've opened it and it has a large scuff. Now I have previously in All About Truvis, let me see if we can get a bit more light over here, da, 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 da. um I have told you um, previously how to clean these balls. Now, we are going to see together um, interactive videography going on in front of you. Uh, see if um, this is a sap mark or a Sharpie mark or a scuff mark. So, as I've mentioned before, you want some nail polish remover i have messed up before chris i think i called you no I, I think i called it nail polish and that was really stupid it's nail polish remover and what you want to do is you want to go and grab one of your y4 partners cotton pads like this and i just fold it up and i simply drown a bit of the nail polish remover onto the cotton pad and i simply rub it in I think I've done this before for some Sharpie, but never a scuff. So two things I've noticed. First of all, half the mark was definitely just a mark, whether it hit some concrete or a tree or what have you. But there is still, it leaves a scuff. I don't know how you can see it. You can see that I've certainly removed a lot of the, the mess, but there is still scuff and this pent here, the stamping has come off it. So immediately I'm thinking, mm, not one for my collection. However, there is nothing stopping me doing that, which is just putting it showing the opposite side to what I would call the money shot. And it's not the end of the world. I will need to replace this at some point because I will always know that that, that that large scuff mark is there. I've got OCD. If you're like me, you know that something like that was just going to bother the hell out of you for a long time. But I really like the ball and I really like the fact that this guy, Stuart, is actually raising health for mental health in golf. Um, I've actually struggled with uh, mental health issues for about 20 years. Um, I really struggled it within my 20s and it comes and goes um, like black clouds. And I think him raising money for mental health and golf is a really good thing. And I think the fact that all the proceeds go to that. So next time I put, buy it off him, I will certainly not ask to combine the postage because it is for a good course. But I think what I will do is make sure I ask for more pictures. The last one he sent me was Lacoma Golf. And we have a similar predicament 
and I think it's either going to be a scuff or a gouge. But again, you simply just dab it on and I'm hoping this one isn't as severe. Mm. This one has not been, well, there's lots of other sat marks over here that are coming off quite nicely. If you are watching this far, thank you for staying tuned. I am literally just cleaning a golf ball in front of you, wasting up the space of the internet. So this one has not cleared up as much as I would have liked. So as you can see, I'm hoping with the new lighting that it's still got a mark. Now, none of, oh no, a little bit of the pent at the front is interrupted. So again, the Lacoma Golf, which is just a white tree on a black oval, I think for the time being is going to display from the bum or the bottom of the ball facing inward, which again is not the end of the world. If you are really precious, uh, you you want to replace it. I will want to replace it. I'm not particularly precious, but the fact that I know that that scuff is there is um, is going to bother me. So just just let me underline the fact that I'm not I'm not um, speaking about Stuart in a negative way at all. He was so helpful. His communications were great. Um, he was helpful with the com combination of the postage. It was my error. Being a collector, I should have ensured that all elements of the ball were going to be the way I wanted. So previously, I have given you a warning uh, of buyers beware. But in this case, you've also got to bear in mind buyers. Be <laughs> Use your brain. Use your brain. If you are buying um, secondhand used balls, do ask for the four pitchers. As always, uh, Matty in the US, he does it perfectly. He takes four pitchers and puts the logo in the middle. So there's absolutely no denying the ball that you're buying and you get a bit of information about it as well. So I'm not upset by these balls at all, but I should have made sure that when I ordered them, I know exactly what I was buying. So that is my eight balls for today. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, I've got lots of balls coming in the post this week. Uh, majority of them are for Jamie. Uh, Jamie's going to do a trade uh, with a few of the Scottish balls and he's going to get me, and I, I'm so happy about this, the Woburn ball. I've been chasing that ball for ages and their customer service are as toffee no snobs as you'll ever meet. But Jamie's got me one of those balls, so I'm really pleased. Um, and then hopefully the next two deliveries I get will be uh, 20 new balls and 13 balls from the US. So stay tuned. Please subscribe. If you've got any ideas for any content, please let me know down in the comments. Um, and if you know someone from Callaway, please, can you ask them to start responding to my emails? Because I keep sending them emails because I want to include more content for you guys with more information and more opportunity. And both Callaway Golf, both sides of the pond are pretending that I'm not here. And I understand that I've got 19 subscribers and not 19,000, so it doesn't serve their purpose. But we all have to start somewhere and I'm hoping that I will proceed on to slightly bigger things. We're in a niche market here at the end of the day, but I would like to think that in the future, I would like to maybe able to shoot a video on site or um, with guest people. That would be great. You know, someone that makes the golf balls in, in Callaway anything like that i'd really like to do more content so if you know someone from callaway uh, i'm going to keep knocking on their door but if you can uh, help wedge your foot in i'd really appreciate it all right guys it's been an absolute pleasure keep collecting see you next time Bye bye